Hi everyone, I am Yunus. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about how can we SSH from one EC2 to the other EC2. So there are multiple methods. Let me show you one method where you need to have two EC2 instances and from one EC2 you should be able to SSH into the second EC2. So let's launch two EC2 instances which uses the same key pair. So launch the instance, I would say SSH test instance, we will change the names later and I am going to choose Ubuntu and the latest is fine. Let us come down instance type T2 micro is ok because it is free tier. Key pair, I already have a key pair so let me use that. Network settings, no change required. Let us use some existing security group. But only thing is it should allow the SSH port. I am going to choose one. It has lot of ports open. That is ok. But SSH port should be open. Number of instances let me have two and launch the instance. Now go to instances and see what is happening. You can see SSH test instance. Two are there. So let me change the name to this is one or I will say origin and this one I will make it destination save now both have to come to in service and once it comes in service i should be able to ssh into the first machine which is origin right so for that i need a command prompt or terminal so let me open that if you are using windows you can use a command prompt right now i am in unis te i have to go to downloads because my key pair is stored in downloads so just do ls yeah, ls the key pair is here. The last file is the key pair. So I have it. Okay. Now what do I do? I have to SSH into my originating EC2. For that, what do I do? Select the origin machine. Click on connect. Go to SSH client. You can just copy this connection string and come back to your terminal and paste it. Yes. So it has allowed me to log into the originating machine. I will set the host name to origin. So how do I do that? I can do that by sudo hostname ctl set hostname origin. Okay, it hasn't changed. So what you can do is just exit and come back again. You will see that the host name has changed. Now I need to be able to SSH into the second machine. For that I need to have the private key of the key pair. I have used the same key pair which is called unus-kb2-key pair. Same key pair I have used for both the machines. So the public key in both these EC2 instances is same. So where do you find the public key? Just go to dot ssh. Just do ls. Just do cat authorized keys. This is the public key. So you can see that the name of the key pair is also here. So I also need the private key. So where is the private key available now? It is in my laptop. So I need to copy it here. So let me copy it. What I can do is open another terminal. Okay. And this also need to be bigger. Okay. Go to downloads. Just do ls. You can see the last one is my private key or private key of this key pair unus kb2 key pair let me just do cat unus hyphen kb2 okay so i got the private key so just copy right from this dash at the very beginning up to here percentage is not required up to here copy come here go to dot ssh here just say vi unus kb2 key pair dot pen the name can be something else also but i am giving this name and just paste it here now save ok there is some difference in the name let me just correct it unus kbe ok unus kb2 key pair dot pen so I have the private key available here. So to log into the second machine, just go and get its connection string. 
where is it go to your instances and select the destination machine click on connect copy this connection string come back to your terminal and just paste it so you can see that it says there is an error the permission for this key pair private key is too open so i need to change it to 400 right now it is 664 which means i am giving write permission read permission to the whole group etc so let me change it to ch mode 0400 so that only the owner will have the required permissions and i'm going to give unus kb2 key pair dot pem now again let me repeat so you can see that it has actually logged into the ring machine its ip address is 172.31.92.34 you can go back and check whether it is ending with 92.34 yeah you can see that it is 92.34 it is the destination so you saw one method using which you can ssh from one machine to the other machine so that's it for this video i i hope you like this video and it is useful for you please share and subscribe thank you bye